caught one stone, so take a look. A fish farm in Nobeoka, Miyazaki Prefecture. Fishermen pull a fish cage to the shore. Here we go. Being hauled on shore is Miyazaki Masu salmon, for which the first shipment began the week before. This is the only trial in the Kyushu region to raise freshwater masu salmon in seawater. Wholesalers from Miyazaki City, two hours away by car, arrive to purchase the fish after getting orders from customers in their area. Wow, the scales are beautiful. On this day, they succeeded in buying 50 of them for between $20 and $25 a kilogram. They will be delivered to hotels and restaurants in Miyazaki right away. This fish farming technique was developed by Hajime Akimoto. He observes the much anticipated haul. I'm not sure whether to call them that, but they're masu salmon nonetheless. We brought them here and put them into the sea. In Hokkaido and northeastern Japan, some types of masu salmon that spawn upriver swim down to the ocean and return after maturing. But in Kyushu, because of higher sea temperatures, the salmon don't swim downriver to the sea. Mr. Akimoto moved the fish to a farm set up on the coast of Nobeoka last November when sea temperatures began falling. Because of the temperature, masu salmon grow faster than those in Hokkaido, increasing in weight from 100 grams to between 1 and 1.5 and kilograms in just four months. Mr. Akimoto has run a fish farm in the mountains two hours by car from Nobeoka for the past 50 years. He set his sights on masu salmon after raising another fish of the same species and failing to find a market. The fish farming industry is doing poorly. Since the 2011 disaster, prices are down. He had been shipping the fish to the Tsukiji market in Tokyo. But after the 2011 earthquake and tsunami, prices of the species fell by half, regardless of origin. Compared to other similar fish, the production cost of masu salmon is less than a third, offering an attractive profit margin. Farmed fish is typically eaten within the local region. So going nationwide was maybe too ambitious. His aim is to turn it into a local brand. He named it Miyazaki Masu Salmon, and rather than trying to expand production, is limiting shipments to the local area. He recommends eating it as fatty sashimi and is marketing it as a rare fish available only in the local region. With consumers eating less fish and rising fuel and feed costs, the entire fish farming industry is facing rough seas. This February, the Japanese government set an annual production target of 140,000 tons or less for yellowtail and amberjack, and up to 72,000 tons for red sea bream. These three types of fish are considered high-end, and there is typically an oversupply. To minimize the risk of sharp price drops, the fish farming industry will adjust production for the first time. Amid this, one area attracting attention is tuna farming. This is the world's first full-cycle bluefin tuna farming experiment in open waters. 